Well, I'm going to show you how you can create a simple login screen. Um, so I've got some text boxes and a button here and a label down below. And when we uh, preview it, all we need to do is type in a username, which is an email address, and a password, and push login. It goes and checks with our spreadsheet to make sure the username matches the password and then creates a little welcome message. So let's just do that again. We'll have it throw a few errors so you can see how it will work if there's an error. Or if it can't find the email, it'll say that. If the password is wrong, it'll say that. And when it works, it just moves on to the next screen and says welcome, and then the name of whomever is stored in this column in the spreadsheet. So let's figure out how I did it. And start a new project. And I'll just put it under testing category here. And uh, I'm not gonna use the drag and drop interface. I'm gonna go ahead and hit create. The first thing I'm going to do on my first screen, I need uh, a label for error messages. I need two text boxes for each of my username and password. And I also need a button to go ahead and log in. I'm just going to put my button below the two inputs and I'm going to change their name. So we'll change this one to text input and I'll say email. And I'll change the second one to text input password and uh, I'll change my button let's just call it login button and uh, label here um, we'll put nothing in the label it'll just be empty unless we need to display a message and uh, I'll just call this uh, message all right, so right now when I preview this, I can see both my username and my password when I type them. So the first thing I want to do is make it so that the password just shows up as dots. To do that, I'm going to click on my password box. Um, let's do a couple more things though before we do that. Let's change the hint to email address. Change the hint in this one to password. And then if we go to advanced on the password, scroll down to this right here, secure text entry, flip that on. And then when we go to preview, whenever we type our password, it just shows up as dots, just like it would on any web page where you were typing in a password. All right, so what do we want to do? Well, the first thing we need is to pull in a data source. So I'm going to scroll down here uh, at the top in this uh, area here. You can see if we scroll down far enough, we see a data sources. Um, and I can go ahead and push the plus button beside the data sources. Now I've already set up a, um, a data source that is my spreadsheet, but if I hadn't done that already, I could say create new, choose Google Sheets, and select it from my Google Drive. I might search for it. Click it, and uh, it wants to know which row has the headers. And, and where's the first um, row of data? And I'd say create. Now I've already done that, so here's my data source. Now we have access to all the data in my spreadsheet. I can go ahead and click here to see. I can see we've got email addresses, passwords, and names. Um, if you want, hit sync just to make sure all that data comes in properly. All right, so what are we gonna do? Let's go to blocks. Okay, here in blocks, uh, let's go ahead and look at our login button. And <clears throat> we want this all to start when we push our login button. So we'll say, when the login button is clicked, what do we want to do? Well, we want to look to get text from our email box and find that email address in our um, in our uh, data source. So let's, let's do that. We have to use um, an if statement to do this. So we'll grab an if else block. So let's check if, well, what do we want to check for? We want to check to see if something's in our data source. And our data source is 
our list of values. I'm just going to drag this over here for now. So it's in our user data spreadsheet in sheet one. If I look here, it's sheet one and looking in the column called email addresses. So what do we want to check for? Well, we want to see, uh, if I look under my text input email, we want to find out is the text in the email that's been typed in this. To do that, we need to use our lists blocks and we're going to use a does list contain this. So I'm going to grab that, drop it here. So here's my list. I can throw this out. So does my list, user data sheet one email addresses, contain whatever's been typed in my uh, text input email? So if it does exist, then we need to move on the next step and find out if the password is there. But before we do that, Let's just throw ourselves a little error. This helps um, when we're programming. So we've got our label that we dropped on the screen and it's just called um, message. So we'll set messages text to be. So if it doesn't find that username, let's have it say uh, in can't find username or incorrect email address. And let's test this. Here we go. Back to design, preview. So let's type uh, something, some nonsense and push the button. And it says incorrect email address. Let's go ahead and type a email address that does exist in that list and push our button. And it actually doesn't do anything. So let's go into our blocks really quickly and have it change a message to say, for now, we can remove this block later, but let's have it say uh, found email address and let's test that. Here we go. Push our button, found email address. Let's put an error, incorrect email address, correct it again, found it. All right, back to editing. So what do we wanna do? When it finds the email address, it finds that it exists within our sheet, but it doesn't do anything else. So we need to create a variable to keep track of where it found this information. So let's go to variables. Let's initialize a variable and we'll call it uh, index. It's the place, the number of where it finds the email address in the username. So we'll initialize a variable called index. So what do we want to do? when it finds the email address is we want to set our variable index to something. And what should, should that something be? Well, we need to check in our list to find, and this is our list here, I'll just duplicate this. So we're checking in our list to find what? We want to find the first occurrence of this text. So this one is just checking true or false. Does this email address exist? And if it does, now we're looking it up and we're setting it, we're, set, uh, we're getting its index, which is a number. Okay. So if, for example, it finds Matt here at index one and we want to check the password, we'll check the password also at index one. So that means we need another if statement. I'll go under control again. And now we're gonna check to see if the password matches. So how do we do that? So I'm gonna use our list thing. We're gonna say in a list at a specific index. So I'm gonna say does, let me grab our data source again and say <clears throat> in a list at an index. So we'll put this here throw this away and say, is our password in the list at index number? And here it says one, we're going to grab our variable and grab our app index variable. 
So we want to know, does that equal what is in the password field? So we'll grab the text input passwords text, and we're checking to see if they equal each other. There we go. And we'll check that here. So this says if the text that's been typed in our um, in our password box equals the password at the index that had the person's email address. So if those two things equal, then good news, the password's correct. So let's just put a little um, error message in for ourselves here. So we'll duplicate that and we'll drop that here. So if it's true, it, it will execute what's in here. Otherwise, we're only gonna say uh, incorrect password. So let's test it out. Go back to design, go back to preview, and let's try again um, our correct username, matt at gmail.com. And let's put in the incorrect password and see. It said found email address for a second and then changed this to incorrect password. But let's put the correct password and we should see no change actually. So let's go really quickly back to blocks and drop in a message that says login successful <coughs> and we'll test it out here we go correct email address and correct password push our button found the email login successful so what do we want to do with this well if you look at our spreadsheet, we see we have a username here under the column called name. So let's get that to be remembered and let's move on to like a, another, like a welcome screen. Go back to edit here. Go back to blocks. Let's initialize another variable and we'll call this one name. That'll be the name of our user. We'll initialize that to zero. So what do we wanna do when they've successfully logged in we want to go ahead and set our variable, which is called name to, I'm just going to duplicate this piece and plug it in here. So we're going to duplicate it. Uh, sorry, we're going to um, set it not to password, but to name. And it's going to be at the same index that the use email address and password were. And then what do we want to do? Well, we need a new screen, a welcome screen. And here we'll drop a, uh, a label. And we want our screen, once we have successfully logged in, we want to move on to that welcome screen. So we'll go under control and we'll say navigate to screen two. And on screen two, We've got our label here and we'll just create a message that says, um, when, let's say, oh, sorry, when screen two opens, what do we wanna do? We wanna set our labels text to, and let's uh, say, welcome, comma, space, throw this out put in our variable, which is our, our username. And let's add an exclamation point so they know how excited we are to welcome them. All right, let's test this out. Go back to design, go to screen one, let's preview. Let's try another email address. Let's try, let's throw some errors first. So put in some nonsense. So Jenny at gmall.com and oh push our button oh it's not finding it oh it's gmail.com of course oh it found it but no, no, the password is not right let's type in the password and push our button login successful welcome jenny and that is a simple way of creating a username password a login screen in thunkable using a google spreadsheet again there are some additional precautions you're going to want to take before taking uh, this um, commercial. You're going to want to be able to encrypt the usernames and passwords so they're not just searchable within a spreadsheet, but this is a good way of getting things running as quickly as possible.